Welcome to Subramani. Uh, he, this is not a very uh, original kind of stuff. Uh, I have done different videos uh, on the thumb rules of investing. Here are some thumb rules of uh, or I would call them mathematical thumb rules of investing. But remember look at the thumb. The thumb looks so different from other fingers. So, thumb rules are not always to be uh, copied without uh, understanding what it means. Uh, these are nice uh, rules to know. Uh, for you to remember certain things, but it does not mean they are very accurate. Let us take a simple thing. Uh, there is something called rule of 72. Uh, rule of 72 tells you that uh, in how much time will your money be doubled. So, if you are getting 8% return in a fixed deposit, 72 divided by 8 is 9. So, in 9 years your money will double. So, if you are getting 6 percent interest, obviously 72 divided by 6 is 12. In 12 years, your money will double. So, assuming for a minute that uh, your bank gives you 2 percent interest in the savings bank account, it will take 36 years for that money to double. Now, fairly obvious if you get uh, something like an 18 percent uh, return in your equities, uh, in 4 years your money should double. Will this uh, happen? I do not know, but this is a rule which is nice to remember. So, remember 8 percent means in 9 years your money will double, in 12 percent interest means in uh, six, uh, 6 years your money will double. These are, this is just approximate because if you sit down and calculate it may turn out to be slightly different, but this is quick to think on your feet and uh, be able to give an answer very quickly. You, for that is, uh, that is the purpose. Now, if you know that the 70 rule of 72 is for uh, doubling your money. It is fairly obvious that uh, 144 is the, num is the number for you to remember. Uh, Let us call it the rule of 144 to know in how much time your money will quadruple. right? So, if you when will it double twice? Right? It is easy to guess since uh, 72 and 144 are straight, just double. So, 144 uh, divided by 12. So, in 12 if you get 12 percent uh, return in 12 years. Uh, your money will uh, uh, 144 divided by 12. So, in 12 years your money would go up 4 times. That is rule of 144. Now, we have seen rule of 2 uh, which is doubling and 4. So, what is the rule for 3 times? That rule is 114. So, it is uh, 114 divided by the interest rate uh, is how much time your money will take to go up 3 times. Now, these are all useful things to know when you are calculating very long uh, uh, gestation period uh, projects or uh, when you are saying in how much money in how many uh, well practically the question is uh, if I know in how many years the money is going to double I can always look at it and say ok if I give so much money to my son or my grandson at this age how much money will he have at the age of 60 right. So, if you so know that the money is going to double every um, let us say 8 years. And if you give it to your 20 year old uh, son, right, let us order 20 year old grandson, you say, okay, here I am giving you 1 crore at the age of 20. So, uh, so you know every 8 years it is going to double. So, 28, 36, 44, uh, 52, and 60. So, 5 times it is going to double. 1 crore is going to become 2 crores, 4 crores. 8 crores, 16 crores, 32 crores, right? That is the kind of money that is going to happen uh, that he will have at retirement. So, you do, you think you does, he does not require 32 crores, but he requires, let us say you say he requires 8 crores. So, in fairly obvious, even if you give him 25 lakhs, that should be enough for his retirement, provided it earns uh, 9 percent and uh, it fits into this calculation, right? 9 percent without tax. Uh, if it happens, well, even if you give him 25 lakhs at the age of 20 or 25, 22, 23, uh, that should be sufficient for him. I am not even saying anywhere near that is sufficient for his retirement, that uh, depends on uh, case to case basis. But I am just saying, so these ca long calculations can be made very quickly by using these thumb rules uh, by thinking on your feet. That reminds, uh, that brings us to another question how much money do you require for retirement? Uh, when you are very young, maybe you are 22, 23, do not even break your head over it. Just think you need 1 million US dollars. So, if you are now 22, uh, just think that you need 1 million US dollars, which is about approximately 8 crores of rupees. So, you target 8 crores, do not worry about whether how much you exactly need. But closer to the uh, retirement, suppose you are 55 years of age and you are spending 1 lakh per month, 
and you think by the time you're 60 you will be spending uh, 2 lakhs per month right so 2 lakhs per month would mean you're going to be spending 24 lakhs a uh, year 24 divided by 30 this is the retirement rule 30 times your annual expenses what you will require so we said 24 lakhs 24 into 30 is 7 crore 20 lakhs right that's the kind of money that you're going to require for retirement if you are going to be spending 2 lakhs per month at the age of 60 if it is much lesser then it's fairly obvious you have to have a lesser amount but this is again a thumb rule uh, 30 times your annual expenses at the age of 60 is what you require for your retirement like rule of 70 there is a rule uh, sorry like the rule of 72 which we saw there is another rule called rule of 70 uh, 70 divided by inflation rate is the time in which your money becomes half right so let's say uh, india inflation is 7% then 70 divided by 7 that is in 10 years your 1 crore will be worth 50 lakhs so for some vague reason you decided to leave it in your say uh, in your uh, attache at home or in your locker at home it means that uh, the value has fallen by 5 percent every year so 70 divided by 5 in 14 years your 1 crore is worth 50 lakhs or your 10 lakhs is worth 5 lakhs right that's what happens so never leave your money idle and definitely don't leave your money idle in a high inflation uh, time suppose the inflation that you were looking at is say 14 percent 14 percent means in uh, 70 divided by 14 is uh, 5 right so in five years your money is losing half its value so if the inflation is higher there is greater reason for you to put money into asset classes which give you inflation beating returns that is very important inflation beating returns are very important so this uh, rule seven, rule of 70 tells you that there's one more rule which is not uh, which is completely original to me which i say is a rule for buying a house is the 3 20 30 40 rule 3